so many families were being drowned because they weren't given safe passage. And then who can forget that in September 2015, an entire family of a man called Kurdi were drowned and that little boy was found at Bodrum on the coast of Turkey. Yeah. So I started fundraising and I think an awful lot of people started work to try and help. But I did a fundraiser and then I thought, no, I've got to go further afield than this. Um, so I've spent the whole of this year really going, but I'm also in it, I should explain, because when I was two was when the war started and I remember the refugees from London, London refugees, they were called evacuees, yeah. but streaming out of London, the, the government gave orders that um, every family that had got accommodation must open up their, their homes to the refugees from London. We've seen a, a very different attitude throughout Europe, haven't we, to, to the migration, migration crisis? There's been some horrible instances and continues to be an attitude that I find extremely distasteful and quite frightening, to be honest. I'm not frightened insofar as I'm determined to protect. I'm a citizen that's been trained and brought up to know human rights law. And what frightens me more than anything is that all our governments, including the British government, are um, in contempt of human rights law, which we have signed and ratified as a nation state. Now that is a very bad situation.